Uh, Senator Tillis? You looked around the table hoping you could recognize was, somebody well, else. You know, the uh. bipartisan nature of this committee, <laughs> I was looking for the Democrat. Um, uh, thank you all for being here and for the work you do on behalf of veterans. I, um, uh, I got a, a couple of questions. I mentioned in last week's uh, hearing about the Patriot Bill of Rights. I know that we've spoken with veterans, uh, or we, we've uh, spoken with Veterans Affairs since then, but I, I'm a, I just want to make sure people understand what I'm trying to do here. My, my motive is at a time when millions of dollars are being spent to advertise those Camp Lejeune toxics uh, uh, ads, which the bill was supported by and in and, and, and large part written by my office. Looks like a great opportunity to get veterans connected that have never been connected to the VA before. So my first question, let's say a veteran who's connected to the VA already sees one of those ads and decides to call 1-800-VA and they say, I want to file a claim for uh, Camp Lejeune Toxics. What, what script do they read off to that veteran? So we have a uh, one stop shop essentially for any veteran interested in getting PACT Act benefits. Mm -hmm. uh, they can call 1-800-MY-VA-411 or va.gov slash PACT. Mm -hmm. We in fact screen for toxic exposures to include contaminated water at Camp Lejeune mm -hmm. during the affected period. And what happens after that is that it's a warm handoff to VBA after that screening to be able to send that veteran a letter uh, encouraging them to apply for additional benefits. So we encourage that no matter where the veteran is coming from, whether internal What about or the touch other. point that they have to make with the Department of Navy as a part of the, uh, of the registration for Camp Lejeune relief? Do you I believe, Senator, about that, that the PACT Act does uh, offer the opportunity to veterans to essentially sue the federal government for conditions related to the contaminated yeah. water at Camp Lejeune. Well, the, the, what, I'm tr what I'm trying to get at is there are the majority of suicides that occur every day are non-connected veterans, not connected to the VA. Uh, we always talk about, we had substance abuse discussion last week, same thing. It's fair to assume that a lot of the people that are uh, succumbing uh, to uh, overdoses and dying are likely not connected. And it just seemed to me to be a perfect time to get two things accomplished. Number one, let these veterans who are not connected know we want them connected to the VA. And also let them know they may not have to spend a dime to get the benefits that they are entitled to if they call a congressional office uh, or if they call a VSO. And so we're trying to put a bill together. We want to get the technical uh, aspects of it right, but we're just simply saying before you sign a retainer for an attorney who is going to take some of the benefits that you would otherwise be eligible for, have you at least contacted your senators? Have you contacted your congressman? Have you, uh, have you taken, have you contacted a VSO that's focusing on this? Do they understand all the resources that we want to give them that won't cost them a dime that could remedy it. For complex situations, go get an attorney. But uh, I'm just trying to figure out, it seems fairly simple. It doesn't cost a whole lot. Probably won't make trial lawyers very happy. But it puts us in a position while this subject, and it will be through next year, summer of next year, it's going to be running through the ads. It just looks like a great opportunity to engage more people. I mean, uh, it, philosophically, do you see any holes in what we're trying to propose here? Absolutely not, Senator. I completely agree with you that we think the best outcomes for veterans are more possible if a veteran files a claim for their exposure. I just want them fully informed. Able. It amazes me how people thank me for doing my job uh, in constituent service. And uh, I want them to know that that's what I get paid to do here. Uh, and that's one of the primary reasons that I'm here. So we're going to continue to work with you all and hopefully uh, get your uh, support for the bill. Um, I'm not going to have time to go through some other questions, but I do have one on wait times. Uh, I've also got, well, I, I always say I don't do constituent service here. I'm going to break my rule. Um, I know that the Salisbury VA currently doesn't have CAT scan capabilities on premise. Is that a violation of the VHA directive? They should have CAT scan operations online, and we did look into this issue. Uh, the medical center is understaffed in uh, the CT imaging department right now. 
which is why at certain periods of the week, they do have to uh, refer to a community uh, provider to get that imaging. We really should have that imaging up 24-7. CT scan is a fairly basic imaging modality that should be available at all times for a lot of reasons. And so rest assured, the facility is doing everything it can, especially with the new PACT Act hiring, retention, and salary authorities to make those CT tech jobs more attractive, and we hope they'll be able to staff up soon. Well, we're watching that, and you know that, uh, that particular center is a big catch basin, so I think it's, it's uh, something that we'll be tracking. Uh, and, Mr. Uh, Chair, can I ask one other question? You bet you Since can. Since you have no alternative. Unless uh, Senator uh, Bozeman draws oh, I forgot. Across. Senator Bozeman, I'll be real quick. Okay. On the wait times, I know that we're getting the high-level uh, numbers, uh, but how, how granular can we get? Can I go to a vision level? Can I go to a geographic area so that we're all drilling down at the atomic level for me to know where, where I am? I haven't seen that. I've seen the high-level numbers and the trending, but is that something that you all can just submit back for the record? Uh, we can, Senator. You can also uh, go to access to care.va.gov. All of that information is transparently available to the public. Wait times by medical center, wait times by Vizin across multiple services. Does but we're go, happy to uh, take. Does it drill down beyond Vizin? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, medical then centers. we'll do the homework there. Uh, thank you all.